Today's guide, Bacchus, the Roman god of wine. I'll be going over his mechanics, his combos, and how he parties. I'll also cover his abilities and provide tips you'll be able to apply in your next match. Item builds and conquest specific strategies will be avoided as these tend to change quite frequently. Feel free to skip to any part of this video that fits your needs. Roll the intro. Bacchus. Bacchus is part of the Guardian class. He deals magical damage and is typically seen in the support role, packed with numerous crowd control abilities such as a knockup, slow, stun, anti-heal application, and intoxicate. Bacchus has multiple interactive passives which provide various buffs and debuffs, make him a high damage and aggressive support who can be considered to be one of the tankiest characters in the game. Passive, drunk o meter Bacchus loves to drink and as he drinks, he becomes more intoxicated, gaining magical power and damage mitigation when he gets tipsy and smashed. Bacchus also celebrates when he kills an enemy god, giving him 10% on his meter. Ability number 1, Chug Bacchus drinks from his jug, providing 40% on his meter, protections, and magical power. This buff lasts for 6 seconds. Ability number 2, Belly Flop Bacchus leaps into the air and belly flops at the target location, dealing damage and knocking up opponents that are hit. If Bacchus is tipsy, he applies a slow to those enemies hit. Ability number 3, Belch of the Gods Bacchus channels a loud belch, becoming immune to knockups, deals damage for the duration, and reduces enemy healing. If he is tipsy, this ability will stun at the end of the channeling. Ability number 4, the ultimate, Intoxicate. Bacchus smashes his jug of wine on the ground, intoxicating all nearby enemies and dealing damage. If he is smashed, Bacchus also gains a magical power buff due to his anger over his lost wine. The following is based on years of personal experience. Every player has their own style and preferences and that's alright. If you disagree with any of them, feel free to let me know. I try to keep an open mind and always willing to learn to get better at a game that I love. Level Up Order Bacchus' second ability, Belly Flop, is his highest damage ability, which is often used to set up or peel for his teammates, making this ability quite high on the priority list. His third ability, Belch of the Gods, provides damage and can stun opponents, making it a strong second choice. Aside from its level 1, the first ability is the least important when it comes to practicality as it only applies a short duration buff for himself. Whenever possible, put points into the ultimate. That said, here's my recommended level up order. Tip number 1. Drink or not to drink. Bacchus' first ability, Chug, controls his magical power buffs, protection buffs, and damage mitigation buffs on his passive. It is probably the most confusing yet important tool. Here are a few keys to keep in mind. One use of chug provides 40% of your passive meter. Any chug above 60% will fill it back up to 100%. Keeping the passive above 30% is all that is needed for the additional effects on his other abilities. Keeping the passive above 60% is helpful for additional magical power and damage mitigation. It is not necessary to keep the meter at 100% all the time. Gauging your meter will help you control your mana usage. Chug provides buffs for 6 seconds. Very practical before engaging or taking damage. Chugging frequently in the middle of a big fight where abilities are thrown in every direction is often a good practice. Tip number 2. Flop Combo so long as Bacchus' passive is above 30%, his best combos have a high damage potential. Start by landing your belly flop, followed by intoxicate for additional magical power and belch of the gods for a nice stun. If you're having trouble landing your belly flop, try stunning the opponent beforehand, then follow up with a free belly flop on the stunned enemy. 
Tip number three, intoxicate. Many players tend to keep this ability as a last resort for finishing a kill. This ability hits hard and has a high kill ratio, although it is most effective in the middle of a fight where it can disorient large groups of enemies all at once, helping you and your team to control the fight. Tip number four, Belch of the Gods. This ability only stuns on the very last hit, so long as Bakus' passive meter is above 30%. This means you can pre-fire this ability, so the final hit lands where you want to, since many players will try to dodge the belch once it has started channeling. Tip number 5, Item Synergy, Stone of Binding. Item Synergy can sometimes make a character feel just right. Items that decrease enemy protections upon being hit by a crowd control ability can often come in handy especially on a character that possesses multiple crowd control abilities. Bacchus can proc its effect upon landing either his belly flop or belch of the gods, making it a very strong tool to have. I hope this video proves useful and that you'll be able to apply what you learned in your next match. If you enjoyed the content or there's a guide you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you all on the battleground.